Welcome back to the Basics of Home Ownership. Today we are at Turner's Crossing looking at another tri-point home. So the tri-point home that we looked at earlier on this channel was this one right here. And I don't know how it is possible, but the one that is only one story is $40,000 more. So I'm excited to show you guys and for you to see why this house was costing so much more. So this house is a three bed, three bath, 2100 and 68 square feet. The floor plan is called the Cleburne and it is built to you by TriPoint Homes. The sales representative here is Alicia and we are in South Austin, Texas. If you guys are interested in this community, please reach out to me or Alicia or anybody in TriPoint Homes. As soon as we walk in, we have the exterior of stone. We got the siding on the inside, a 10 foot glass wooden door and with real wood on the ground. So whatever we're noticing on a lot of houses that are maybe a two story compared to a one story and you're questioning, oh, why is this house more? It's gonna be due to the finishes. The finishes and the fixtures. And the reason why I know that is because I've asked a lot of builders what separates a luxury home to affordability. And they always say the foundation, framing, all of that, all of the materials that make up all houses are all the same. It's just gonna be the fixtures. So that black cabinetry will probably be maybe a cheaper, more affordable cabinetry. We got ourselves a gym and an office as soon as we walk in. This house is going for $481,990. I'm gonna talk about this home for about 30 more seconds. Then I'm gonna go into the real juice of why. I'm on this channel and talk to you guys about the six steps to acquiring your home and for you guys not to be shocked in the home buying process. We got ourselves a Zoom room in here as well. So imagine having an office and a Zoom room just tucked away. Primary bedroom in one of the early stages of the entrance. Black camera tree with granite countertops, stand up tub, and this house, like I said at the beginning, three bed, three bath, $481,000 study slash office in the front. Give you guys this look. And what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today is six steps into acquiring a home. And the first step is going to be the buyer's consultation. Buyer's consultation, quick summary is basically your agent or a sales home representative talking to you and wanting to know your needs and wants of home. What's the reason why you're moving? What is the deal? What are you looking for? Ideal price point, all of that. The second step is going to be getting pre Qualify, also known as a pre-approval. This is going to let you know your price point. What is the lender's max amount going to give to you? If you're looking at homes that are $400,000, but your lender gives you a price max price point of $320,000, you're $80,000 off and you won't get approved for that home. So always remember, getting a pre-approval is one of the most important things for your home buying process. Not getting that is always going to screw you over. After we got that pre pre-approval, we're going to start finding homes. We're going to be looking at beautiful homes like this, this model home right here. And if you guys are liking it, we take initiative and we go to the sales office and we say, hey, we love this home. We want to go under contract. You sign, you go under contract and you'll put something down called earnest money. And this is where it's basically a holding fee of, hey, this is the house. I really love this house. And I want this to be off market. I want you guys to stop showing this to other people because this is going to be my home. And earnest money is typically 1% to 2% of the sales purchase price. The highest that I've seen in Austin is $7,500. So it, it, could be, it could be hefty, but always remember earnest money goes towards closing costs. And closing costs is about 5 to 6% of purchase price. So remember that whenever you're purchasing a home, a down payment but there will also be closing costs. But whenever you're in a new home like this, closing costs is probably an incentive that the 
builder is willing to pay for. After we're under contract, we're gonna be going through the construction process, so that's gonna be while the home's still being built. If the home is fully built, we're just gonna be in the underwriting phase, and this is gonna make sure that your loan is able to be approved. Are you able to get this home? Even though the lender said, yes, underwriting is gonna go in, make sure your taxes are filed, make sure everything is needed for you to acquire this home and you're not gonna have any issues at all. So we got the home, we got the pre-approval, underwriting says everything's good, ready to go. We're gonna have ourselves the first walkthrough. That's whenever we're gonna go in, check ourselves with blue tape, a realtor, salesperson, and the client, or you, go check in, put blue tape, see scrapes, marks, everything that you see, and put it up and make sure the builder fixes that before you go inside your home. And while we're doing all that, you will be purchasing homeowner insurance. Homeowner insurance. So, homeowner insurance is going to you know, take care of your home if anything is to happen. People wonder what's the difference between warranty and insurance. So insurance is more gonna be like, hey, if somebody sets their whole house on fire, the neighbor, you're gonna be covered. Warranty is gonna be more wear and tear and it's only the first two years of the property. And finally, we have the final walkthrough. That's whenever we come back, they make sure that they fixed all those blue tape marks that we had put down. And once that's all completed and everything is good to go, you are now at the closing table getting your keys and this home is now yours. This is gonna be the outside that you'd walk out to every day. You get to get this beautiful freeze of fresh grass. The immunity center is right across from you. And all those homes right there are down getting purchased. If you guys are interested in this home, please reach out to me like always and stay blessed. Peace and blessings, Godspeed, and back to the home ownership. My name is Donovan Tubbs. Reach me and check my bio for my link.